Hey there, that is my specialty. Let's get you started. First thing is you're going to want to figure out what you want to can first. Always start small. So you need to figure out, do you want to pickle something? Do you want to ferment something? Do you want to can something up in the water bath? Do you want to make jam, jellies, uh, pickles, or do you want to make a salsa? So let me know what you want to make first, but if you want to do water bath canning, all you're going to need is a $31 to $35 water bath canner. You don't even really need that, but it is a really good investment that has a rack in it. It makes it easy to move up and down. There are a couple tools that you're going to need. You don't absolutely need this one, but I like it. It's a little magnet picker upper. I put my... Um, my jars, my lids in warm water and it picks it up and I can put them straight on the jar with that. It's not necessary. This one I think is very necessary. It is a jar lifter. It's held like this and it lifts the jars where you can pick them up out of hot water and put them in hot water without burning yourself. Highly recommend that. And they usually all come in a set. And the next one is this. This is actually a pretty useful tool. I think it's mandatory for me anyways. It has a measuring, the little notches measure a quarter of an inch for your headspace. But this end right here is used to get into the jar to get the air bubbles out, which you want to use plastic. You don't want glass touching the inside of the jars because that just weakens the glass. So this one I highly recommend using. Other than that, that's all you really need. It is so simple, plus jars. So get yourself some jars. Figure out if you want to use these tools or not, and tell me what you want to make. And it really is that simple.